welcome to Yankee Stadium. The New York Yankees are once again expected to sign the number one overall international prospect, Roderick Arias, this January once the international signing period opens up, which will not be affected by the lockout. Arias's scouting grades are as insane as they come, according to Major League Baseball Pipeline. First, let's take a look at the scouting grade system, which is one of the more nuanced and weird things about baseball that some casual fans may not follow all that closely, so I figured I would explain it. Baseball scouts grade players on individual skills on a scale from 20 to 80. 20 to 30 is considered well below average, while 40 is below average. 50 is average, 60 is above average, and 70 to 80 is well above average. For instance, Garrett Cole's fastball is one of the fastest in the game. It would be graded as an 80. Aaron Judge has as much power as anybody in the game. His power would be an 80 as well. Roderick Arias, who's only 16 years old, according to MLB Pipeline, already has major league average tools, and he's only going to get better with time. His hitting for contact tool is at 60, or above average for a major league hitter. His hitting for power, running speed, arm, fielding ability, and overall grades are all scored at 55, putting him somewhere between average and above average major league skills at the age of 16. He plays shortstop. He's a switch hitter. He's been compared to Wander Franco. He's got a great swing just by looking at him. And that's an interesting comparison to compare him to such a recent player as Wander Franco. We've heard former number one overall international prospect Jason Dominguez compared to the likes of Bo Jackson and Mickey Mantle, legendary athletes from years gone by. But Wander Franco is fresh in scouts' minds, so the fact that there are some comparisons there make me excited about this kid's future. Again, it's not official yet. He's expected to sign on January 15th from everything that I've read. And then on we go. I don't think we'll see him much in the minor leagues this year, but he'll probably spend some time at extended spring training. And then hopefully next year they'll get him on the major league track.